Despite the liberation of Kuwait City, fighting is continuing in many parts of the country. Allied tanks and helicopters are thrusting further into Kuwait. And in the Saudi city of Dharan, there have been more air raid alerts. Yesterday, 28 servicemen and women were killed when a Scud missile hit an army barracks on the city outskirts. ITN's Jeremy Thompson reports from Saudi Arabia. A convoy of Saudi armored troops weave their way carefully through an Iraqi minefield. But word of Saddam's withdrawal had done nothing to halt the Allied momentum as they pressed on towards Kuwait City. By now, the advance was relentless. This huge army almost unstoppable. Now their final objective was almost within sight. But the firefights continued in many places along the 300-mile battlefront. Allied artillery engaged a number of defiant Iraqi units. These American Marines were still taking heavy incoming fire. Most of it lacked real accuracy. But time and again they found deserted bunkers where Iraqi soldiers had fled in the face of the Allies' lightning attacks. Besides the enemy forces have been right where we expected them to be, uh, with the morale, relatively low morale of what we expected. So we expected to get some fight, which we have. We've gotten some mortar fire, some uh, automatic weapons fire, uh, some tank fire, but very little of that. And uh, like I said, we're just overpowering them right now with, uh, I think, speed and surprise. As the Allies plowed forward in an endless dust cloud, there was a confidence, almost a cockiness, about their advance into Iraq. Heading up towards that Euphrates Valley, a vast fleet of attack helicopters leapfrogged the ground troops flying on a hundred miles into Iraq. They met little resistance as they tried to cut off Saddam's supply route. This huge outflanking maneuver deceived the Iraqis and allowed Allied tanks to take on units of the Republican Guard who'd been sucked into a narrow valley close to the Kuwait border. With warplanes providing cover and another angle of attack, the Iraqi armor was driven back. Military sources reported over 270 tanks destroyed. More than 20,000 Iraqi soldiers have now surrendered. While Saddam Hussein claimed victory, it was clearly not a view shared by his desert troops. They came out of their foxholes, some in tears, others grateful, most relieved. No one support for them. No one support them, except those people who get advantage of you know? No one supports them, but no one can say anything. Because if you say anything, we will be in a battle. In the shadow of the destruction Saddam had wrought upon Kuwait, much of his own army now also lay destroyed. <laughs>